A piece of Connecticut history is badly burned. A two-alarm fire damaged the New Haven home of football legend Walter Camp. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is now joining us live with a much closer look at how this home on Chapel Street played a really big part in American culture. Hi, Matthew. Yeah, Elva, you know, it really did. Walter Camp's fingerprints are all over the game of football as we know it, and a lot of his time was spent in that house that burned today. Firefighters on ladders shoot water down to dash the flames from the former home of football legend Walter Camp. It's significant for many reasons. It's significant to the community. Camp, born in New Britain in the 1800s, put roots down in New Haven in this house on Chapel Street. He was Yale football's captain and first coach, but he'll forever be known around the globe for making football what it is today. Some say he's the founding father. He was a person for down and distance, a number of tries, he, you know, the point schematics, the 11 men on a side. So he is the reason why the game is what it is today. Mike Madera ensures Camp's legacy continues on hundreds of years later. He's the former president of the Walter Camp Foundation, which is based right here in New Haven. We do things that really transcend what he was all about, hospital visits, giving back to the community. What continues to make Walter Camp a household name throughout the country is the annual award that's bestowed to the best players and coaches in college football. It ranks alongside the Heisman. It is probably one of the most prestigious awards out there. Camp died in 1925, and many owners have since lived under this roof. In fact, it was just purchased in November for $1.2 million. But when that roof burned today, many felt like a part of Walter went with it. When you talk about numbers like that, and you talk about a home, and you know, who owned that home, who lived in that home, um, you know, it's a very sad day. Now, the cause of that fire is still being determined. Both police and fire officials are investigating. Live in the newsroom, Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.